to put it simply, I, I just, I didn't, I didn't show up that day. And um, I feel embarrassed about my performance. I mean, some of the questions that I got from the, my, my Danish followers is like, how do you turn around from a loss like that? Uh, I mean, even quitting. Like one of the questions, why, why are you not quitting? And I think, I think it's important to realize that, you know, quitting is always the easy answer. Sticking with the plan, with the people, with the grind is where the results are being created. That's where you achieve goals. That's where you achieve the things that you aspire uh, for in life. So it's, 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 you know, quitting is not an option. Even with the result I had against Grant Dawson, I believe in taking responsibility. I believe in accountability and I, don't believe in pointing fingers. I know the performance is on me. I know I have to adjust. Uh, I will bounce back um, and I will continue. This is something I love doing. I love eating healthy. I love training. I love having an active lifestyle. And I love being in a environment like the environment I'm a part of uh, right here in, in Scottsdale, surrounded with people on the same path, you know, people who are aspiring for greatness and are committed to put in the effort, to have the courage to actually go out there, knowing that the risk, is all, the risk of failure is always present, but having the courage to go out there and actually trying to reach out and, and conquer the goals. We, as a family, had to relocate. Uh, we had to get out of our apartment uh, December 1st. So the time from the fight till now has really been about um, relocating, putting my family and myself in the best possible position to move forward. So it's been, it's been a busy time and, and I'm happy that we got to move into this place and that we are now in a, in a better position now than we were before. Um, Naturally, been taking some time off, physically and mentally. Uh, I mean, losing the fight against Grand Dawson the way I did uh, was not something I planned on, and uh, I do feel embarrassed about my performance. But it's it's fuel, and and I will bounce back. What did you learn from from that fight? Uh, just go, going against someone like Grand Dawson, a, a really tough opponent. What was some learning of the experience you took from that fight? I think I learned a lot from uh, the fight, uh, even the whole build-up. Um, looking back, uh, we prepared for one type of opponent, and with a very short time, we had to adjust to a completely different uh, type of fighter. And one of the things, one of the key things that I take with me is uh, areas that I need to improve. Um, Looking back, there are some certain situations that I will be going back uh, to the drawing board with and things that I will be correcting. Um, we trained a lot on developing my striking skills, a lot of the stand-up, and we ended up in a completely different area. I didn't get to use any of my Greg Roman uh, skills, so I think it was a good learning point, things that I need to correct, things I need to do better, uh, to put it frankly. Henry's aiming to fight Aljamain Sterling, that fight is 
at the UFC London pay-per-view. Being in London, a short ways to Denmark, is that a card that really interests you? I just got aware of Henry fighting uh, March 18, and that is a card I would love to be on. Um, Henry fighting in London, fighting in Europe, which is where I'm from, which is what I consider my home market. That would be an amazing card to uh, to be on. Um, and uh, I had a discussion yesterday with uh, with my coach. I called my team leader, and that is a that is a card that I am very interested to uh, to take part in. 